So I got given this little uh, Halo Optics LRF to give a trial. I've been looking for a little handheld um, LRF for a long time. I've been using these bino combination. Real good, real handy, but um, I just wanted something a little bit smaller just to carry on the person. Bino is a little bit harder. Let's get into it. It says it's good for 1,600 yards for reflective, 800 yards for trees. And it's got a uh, six-time magnification. So this is their 16, 1600 model. It comes with a carry case, lanyard, lens cloth, and a, and a battery. So we've got a cloudy day today, so we should get some pretty good results. Do they use AAA batteries? Uh, no, they use a CR2. Oh, that's cool. We've got an ear warning. Oh, here's your instructions, owner's manual. Don't worry about that later. Lens cloth. Lanyard. And the battery. It's handy. A few things run on the CR2 now, don't they? Not really going to go into the specs of, you know, the laser and how it works and all that sort of stuff. If you want to know that stuff, just go to the website and have a look-see. Uh, I'm just pretty much going to go over how it runs and how it operates, using gloves, obviously. It's really light. That's the first thing I notice. All right, let's give this thing a burn. Uh, I think that should be around 240. Changing modes, no. You can take it from the top now, I guess. So it's got, it says here it's got four modes. You can't really go in there and uh, change the settings because it's set in yards at the moment. So you've got uh, line of sight and yards. Uh, it's got this AI feature, which is about sort of your angles. So if you're shooting angles, it takes that all into account. Um, then it's got line of sight meters and angle in, in meters as well. So, uh, line of sight and yards mode, line of sight and yards, line of sight and meters. That's what we want. All right. 281. Let's try it again. 281. All right, let's see what the what is saying. 281.7, exactly the same. All right, let's punch it out a bit further. Let's see what it does. It's real quick. Two, uh, six, one, two point four. Six, one, two point three. In or there. All right, let's do our furthest one. Yeah, that's where it struggles. At that thousand. Yeah. So it didn't quite pick up the 1061 a little bit too far for it I think yeah so it picks up the clump of trees out at 800 so I think anything inside that 800 I reckon this is your go-to they're reasonably priced as well oh well they're selling them for around 600 this would be comparable to their uh, crossfires so yeah, for the pricing, they're not too bad. I just can't get over the, the weight. It weighs nothing. That's real handy. So for all them uh, hunters out there, especially um, your uh, bow hunters, this is going to be really handy for you. Especially with that angled shooting. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give it the thumbs up. I think it's pretty cool. But I'll uh, keep using it and see how it fares. 
see if I can break it.